Hello, in this video we will draw obstacles. Uh, let's first of all uh, rename our canvas coordinates to canvas interaction. And create, create here canvas coordinates. We do it because canvas hex and canvas coordinates not uh, frequently redrawn and uh, we redraw only uh, canvas interaction. So redraw hex and coordinates frequently is very uh, costly operation. Uh, let's save and check if it works. Okay, it works. Uh, now we need to uh, fix our position in get distance line to get line distance line from zero hexagon. We don't need move our hex current our hexagon and we don't need player position object in state. We can delete it. Instead of it we will create uh, obstacles and it will be a uh, empty array. So in handle click uh, function of canvas inter interaction we will specify add obstacles function and let's create this function here. Let's create uh, obstacles variable and assign to it data from state. And let's use very simple method. On every click we will add to array current hexagon from state. Let's console lock obstacles and you see that every time when I click on canvas we get uh, another object in our array of objects. So let's assign this to state. And let's draw them in shoot component update method of React. To draw them, we need to get next state obstacles and ma map over it. So we'll take each element, and for each element, we will use object restructuring and we will take our coordinates of e every obstacle from each element and then we just draw black hexagon let's save let's click OK, we have our obstacles. Uh, we have some problems. If we click on obstacle, draw another obstacle over it. We don't need this. We need to delete obstacle if we click on it again. So for this, we will need to use some uh, checking mechanism. And we're going to uh, check every time if obstacles array uh, has current hex object in it. If it doesn't has current hex object in it, we will uh, add 
current hex to this obstacles array but if obstacles array has current hex in it we delete this uh, object from array obstacles obstacles are objects and it's very hard to compare objects uh, instead of comparing objects we will uh, compare uh, strings we will use json stringify to convert our object to string and then if we need coordinates we will use json parse to get coordinates so I will use condition where I will check if this state current hex included in obstacles array I will use includes method of array and I will use JSON stringify to stringify current hex object then if uh, obstacles doesn't contain this state current hex then I will use uh, also JSON stringify to stringify this state current hex and I put it to obstacles array we can use this push method but it um, mutate our state so instead of it we will use concat which return new array uh, because uh, it's not so good to mutate uh, state of react so obstacles equals to new empty array then concat obstacles and json stringify this state current hex so this will create empty array add to this array obstacles array with uh, additional object and assign it to obstacles if it contains if obstacle contains this state current hex then we need to use map to iterate over each array element and we need to get index of this element here we will create another if condition and we will check if each element equals to again json stringify current hex and if it equals because string equals to string if we wouldn't use json stringify to convert our objects to strings we uh, could have a problem with comparing two objects with uh, same properties but they are different objects and thus they are not equal so for this we we'll, we'll, we use json stringify and if uh, element equals to current hex we will slice this element from obstacles array for this I will use slice method it also doesn't mutate array it returns new array so we will take obstacles sorry I have a typo here we, we will take obstacles we will slice from 0 to index not including index and then we 
concat it with another array with slice index plus one so this part uh, slice from obstacles array uh, part before our element which we need to delete and this slice part of array after this element with this index that we need to delete so let's save let's open browser reload the page we uh, don't see any obstacles because we need to parse our strings from array to draw them let's go to shoot component update method let's find next state obstacles map and here we need to use json parse each element and it will parse each element from string to object and then we can apply object destruction to it and get x and y coordinates and then we can draw hex so let's save let's reload okay we see that we can draw obstacle we see that we can delete obstacle so as we have time uh, let's uh, modify our draw hex uh, function first of all I want to change place uh, width of line and give it a more understandable name so we need to change order of arguments in in each calling of our draw hex function Okay, I guess we did it for all draw hex functions here. So let's save. Okay, we have a typer. It's not defined. Okay, we changed argument here, but we didn't change it here. Let's also uh, change order in draw line function. I will copy that and we'll go to draw line and paste it here. And then I will replace these variables with this with new name of arguments. So let's save reload. Okay, in the next video we will create breadth first search algorithm for path finding. If you like this video, give it thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for a new video. Thanks for watching.